Hey guys, I'm Justin from Cooking with Coit. I specialize in clean comfort cooking. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make the best homemade guacamole. And if you love this video, make sure you hit those like and subscribe buttons. Let's get started. My family and I love Mexico so much. We try to vacation there as many times a year as we can. When I go to Mexico, one of my problems is, is that I gorge myself on chips and guacamole. I eat so much chips and guacamole that when I get home, I literally have to take a week off of eating it. And with all of that travel to Mexico, I've really studied the different types of guacamole that I've eaten. And I have come up with this recipe, which I think is the perfect homemade guacamole recipe. Let's get into it. First thing we're gonna do is de-seed and scoop out our avocados. You know how I feel every time I cut an avocado and you don't know whether it's gonna be a good avocado in there or a nightmare horrible avocado. And it's always like you have a little anticipation. Let's see how this one came out. This, guys, this is beautiful. Now I've already covered this a little bit in some of my past videos, but let's refresh a little bit on how to pick the perfect avocado at the store. So what I look for is an avocado that's got a little bit of a darker skin. If you see one that's a little lighter, a little more green, that means it's not ripe, do not buy it. But if you're planning on making guacamole like four days from then, you might wanna buy one that's a little less ripe because it's gonna get ripe over time. The other thing that I look for is the touch test, essentially. So I take my fingers and I press into the avocado skin. So what I'm looking for is just a little bit of give in the avocado. It shouldn't be too squishy, like if your finger feels like it's gonna break through the skin, but if you can't press in at all, that means the avocado is not ripe enough. So those are just a couple of things that I look for. Next thing we're gonna do is dice up some onion. This recipe calls for just about a third of a cup. This was a fairly big onion, so I'm using just uh, about three quarters of it. I just realized that I've been cutting my onion already and I didn't mash up my avocado yet. So let's pause for a second. We're gonna mash up this avocado. I like to use a masher. You could, of course, if you don't have one, you could use a fork. It's very easy. For this amount of avocados, it's really nice to have a masher because it makes it go a little faster. So just give it a good mash. Or you can put it in a food processor, right? I think you could, but I don't know. I like when my um, guacamole is a little on the chunkier side. So I feel like if you did it in the food processor, you just have to be sure that it didn't puree it too much because you don't want it to be too soupy. Unless you like smooth guacamole. I knew she was gonna add something. I knew every time I say something, camera Ann chimes in and I was just waiting for it. <laughs> Unless you like smooth guacamole, to each their own. Make your guacamole however you want to because you just should. Okay, this is a really good consistency in my opinion. Here Ann, we get a shot of that. See how it's still kind of chunky, but it's also smooth enough where it'll uh, go nicely on a chip. All right, now we're gonna transfer our onions into the bowl with the uh, avocado. One thing that I've learned in my travels to Mexico is that the different regions in Mexico all do their guacamole and their salsas differently. Now, I don't know too much about that, but I'd love to learn more. So if you guys know, will you let me know in the comments? Next, we're gonna dice up one Roma tomato. Now we're gonna dice up one jalapeno. If you want your guacamole to be less spicy or more spicy, just use more or less jalapeno. My wife loves spicy everything, so I'm gonna give her a whole jalapeno here, and I think that's gonna make her happy. Just like with most things, when you're using a jalapeno, you definitely wanna make sure you take the seeds out. The seeds are obviously crazy, crazy spicy, so even though I'm gonna make this one spicy, I'm not gonna use the seeds. I really like to add one clove of garlic to my guacamole. I think it just gives it a little bit more depth. I know not everybody loves to add garlic to theirs, but this recipe has one clove of garlic. Next up, we're gonna add a quarter cup of cilantro. I'm just gonna give this cilantro a good chop.
Next, we're gonna add the juice of one lime. The lime is such an important flavor in this guacamole because it gives it a nice citrus kick. Last thing we're gonna do is add a couple big pinches of salt. And now we're gonna give it a mix. This guacamole is looking so delicious and so perfectly chunky. Uh, I cannot wait to give it a try. If you love this recipe and you wanna see more just like it, check out my Mexican recipes playlist. Okay, let's give this a try. Mm. Did I mention how much I love guacamole? This guacamole recipe is so fast, it's so easy, and this is so, so delicious. I wish you guys were here to share this giant bowl of guacamole that I have with me now because I really shouldn't eat it all myself. But I hope you guys have loved this video. I'll see you in the next.